Hey gang, Pete Williams here. And in this video, I want to talk about the why, the what, and the how of leverage content creation and leverage marketing. See, in traditional marketing, the why, what, and how framework is used as a marketing funnel approach. See, from a why perspective, this is normally the free line information. So the content you're giving away for free is really educating your marketplace and your funnel on why they need to learn this, what's important about this. Let's talk about, you know, the example might be the stock market or stock trading niche. Well, obviously, as part of your free line information, you want to educate your market about why it's important to actually learn about stock market uh, trading and investing because you want to use a lot of information and statistics to really support the argument of why they need to learn this. So you're teaching them and you're training them on why it's important to manage your own 401k, how the money that you're investing in right now is not adequate enough to retire on. All that sort of scare slash education type marketing is what a lot of people put at the top of their marketing funnel to really, really educate the clients and force them further down the funnel from this why activity. Then the cheap entry level product is teaching the clients what they need to do to actually you know, avoid the retirement scarce scarcity of funds type mentality that you've educated them on in the why. So you're teaching them what needs to happen. You need to learn how to trade options. And to trade options, what you need to do is do um, puts and calls and strangles and all this sort of different technology. So you're telling them what needs to happen. So that's the entry level product. They feel like they know what to do now, which is great. That's the next level of your funnel. The final thing though is what a lot of people do is then actually leave the how out of it. And that is what's sold at the high end, back of the room, upsell type course. The home study weekend or the home study course or the, the live training event where you actually teach them how to actually buy calls, how to buy puts, how to do strangles and all those different sort of option trading techniques. So that's the sort of examples of what a lot of people do and the way they structure their marketing funnel using the why, what, how approach. In an AdWords course, for example, you might teach them why AdWords is important because obviously with traditional marketing, you can't measure where you're putting your, your, your billboards or your magazine advertisement. With AdWords, you can actually you know, measure the results. You can get in front of the buyers with their wallets half open. That's all the why that you give away as part of your free line reports, your videos online, your you know, opt-in um, ebook. You sort of tell them why it's important. The next level is what they need to do. We need to set up an AdWords account. They need to do phrase match and exact match keywords. And they need to sort of do split testing of adverts and all that sort of stuff. That's your your entry level thirty nine dollar ebook. But then what what you need to do is actually have a big high end back end product which shows them exactly step by step guides of how to set up that campaign. That's the screen capture video, the step by step documentation. That's the upsell. So there's plenty of examples of ways you can apply the why, what, how. Uh, formula to your marketing funnel. And if you're not implementing this type of structure in your funnel right now and not getting the upsell conversions you want, really consider applying this framework to your marketing funnel. Why, what, then how. But funnily enough, that is not the actual purpose of this video here for you. What I want to talk about is the why, the what, a how approach to leveraged implementation, leveraged content creation, and leverage business building. See, when you come across a new tactic, a new technique, or a tool to help you grow your business, the question I often get asked is how deep should somebody personally get into that to get the best results for their business? If they know they need to be doing a particular type of traffic strategy, or need to be producing a video for their business, or they need to work out how to do autoresponder sequences, whatever it might be, how deep do you go in the understanding of that entire uh, tactic or tool or strategy before you can get real results in your business? What's the best way to do with that? And in this case, I want to talk about that answer in the context of why, what, and how. See, when you're learning a new tactic, the why is simply the benefits. Why should you be doing AdWords marketing? Why you should be worrying about autoresponder marketing. Whatever it might be that you, a new tactic comes across your desk and your inbox, whatever it might be, you really want to understand and you do want to understand why you should do all this sort of stuff. It gives you the context of where it fits in with your business. If you're doing marketing triage that we spoke about in another video, 
is actually help you identify, does this fit in with where I need to focus on my business right now? What are the benefits? Why you should be doing this? That's the first criteria you should always uh, deliver and answer to yourself. And then once you've actually gone through the why of that particular product or that particular tactic, you then want to work out what. You want to work out what actually needs to occur to get the resulting benefits. So to actually uh, get the benefits of an autoresponder marketing sequence, what do you need to do? Well, you need to have a number of emails automatically set up so when someone opts into your list, they get automatically uh, marketed to on autopilot. They are educated, they are made offers, they are supported, they are upsold, all that sort of stuff. That's what needs to occur. So you need to actually have that understanding. But then the final element of this why, what, how is how. How does one actually go about actually doing what is needed to get the results? And this is where I think you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry about the how. You don't need to know how to set up that autoresponder. All you need to worry about is, has the outcome been done? Because as leveraged entrepreneurs, what we want to do is ensure we're getting the best bang for our buck. We want to focus on our business and not in our business. That's where you get leverage. The how-to element of any particular task, strategy, tool, or technique is the in the element. You're in the business doing that. But if you're simply only limiting yourself to understanding the why and the what, uh, you have a positive constraint around you that only allows you to work on your business because you don't know enough to actually do the implementation. So let's talk about applying this. What we need to do is become outcome focused. That's the why element I spoke about before. All we need to focus on is why we need to do something in our business and understand and assess and triage, is that particular outcome going to benefit my business right now? Is it the best outcome I can try and achieve and work towards right now for my business? If the answer is yes, then you want to work out what needs to be done. You need to be aware of the what. And what needs to be done in this example I'm talking through is have a series of emails automatically going out to people once they subscribe to your list. That's the what. Because that way, you can actually monitor the outcomes of your systems. You can clearly see, is, if I put my email address into this opt-in box here, do I start getting automated emails? Well, yes, I do. That's the what. You can judge the outcome. But the question, as I've you know, said before, and I'm sure you're sort of realizing right now, is do you really need to know the how? Is it in your best interest as a leveraged strategic entrepreneur actually knowing how to set up that order of wonder sequence? And I don't think so. Because there's no leverage in learning the how-to stuff. The step-by-step actions needed to get the outcome you're after. There's no leverage in that. There's no power in that. As long as you have a clear direction, the why element we spoke of, and understand what the results look like, clearly the what element, you don't need to know the how. You need to leverage the how. Uh, Another example I want to give you here is SEO backlinking via spun articles. Now, for simplicity's sake, Uh, This example is a little outdated now, I know that, but it's something everyone should hopefully understand. For those who don't, what it is, it's a strategy that was used in the SEO community to get a huge range of low quality backlinks to a site Mm -hmm. very, very easily. What would happen would be someone would get an article created with certain syntax and and, um, synonyms for certain words in a particular sort of format that when put through a software package, it would spin the article out using different synonyms to make the article unique from a particular um, word count and unique word perspective. Now, Google's Penguin and Panda algorithms uh, basically nullified the relevance and efficiency of that, but I'm going to use that as the example here because it's a good example to use. So let's talk about the why and the what. Why do article marketing? Why would you want to do that? Well, as I mentioned really briefly, it's an easy way to generate a volume of low-level backlinks to boost your search engine ranking and your search engine optimization. So that's the why. So you know that, okay, the outcome is to get a greater boost in my SEO. Well, that's something I want for my business, so that's good. Check that. I want that outcome. I want that why. So I know why I need to do this. Well, what needs to happen? What actually is the process of this that I need to actually look at to make sure the outcome's been achieved? Well, someone writes an article, as I mentioned, in a particular format that software can then spin the root article into a huge number of you know, quasi-unique articles that get submitted to a network of blogs and article directories for backlinks. 
These backlinks then contribute to obviously the backlink profile of my website and boost my rankings in the search engines. So that's what needs to happen. So I can see that, okay, A, I'm getting an increase in backlinks. B, I can see the variations of the articles that have been written. I can look at those. That's the what needs to happen. But how do you actually do this? Well, as I've clearly hopefully explained by now, once you know the why and the what, do you really need to understand the how to, to get the outcomes you're after as a business owner for your particular business, whether it's an e-commerce site, an information marketing product, or a real-world business trying to get your, um, you know, your business's website ranked? Do you really need to know the how-to of article marketing? Do you really need to know how to use the article spinning software, how to actually correctly write and format the articles? Obviously not. As a strategic and leveraged entrepreneur, the best use of your resources is to work on your business and grasp the why and then manage the what. And finally, outsource the how via team members, outtask projects, or even software services. All, that's, all that how can be leveraged in a number of ways. It doesn't have to be about employing outsources. Yes, you know, business these days is a team sport. And we've got a whole range of stuff inside the program here about learning how to hire and recruit people for full-time members or for out task projects. But even software can help you use leverage. So in this example, what I want you to do is just focus on what pages you wanted to get ranked, what keywords you want to rank for, and what the successful submission actually looks like to you so you can monitor the outcomes. That's how we're going to apply the why, what, how to our businesses moving forward. So next time... You know, a course on a particular tactic, such as video marketing, backlinking, autoresponders, you know, appears on your radar, I want you to follow these three steps. First, watch the marketing videos and assess why you should do this and why it will benefit your business right now. Once you understand that, go to step two and understand what needs to happen for the outcomes to be achieved. What does success with this tactic actually look like? You know, in the autoresponder example, it looks like your inbox filling up with emails automatically once you've opted in to a particular autoresponder series. And step three is invest in the course, but do not watch the how-to tactics yourself. Take the program and the membership login details and pass them on to a team member. Discuss what you want them to achieve and then leave the how-to implementation to them. You know, or just learn the why and the what of any particular tactic in internet marketing, whether it's a seminar or on an online video or in a forum, and even potentially hire someone with a skill set to do the actual implementation. You know, In fact, something I recommend quite regularly is to grab some of the old courses and programs you've already invested in. You know, the ones that are collecting dust on your shelf, re-familiarize yourself with the why you bought them and what you thought you'd achieve when you opened your wallet and then get someone else to implement the how-to tactics and the steps. This is how you will maximize the value from your time, your team, your business, and these current assets. So grab the course, give it to a team member, and get them to actually implement all the how-to stuff. That's the leverage I want you to take away throughout the entire program here and other programs you invest in in the future. We're all about giving you leverage results fast. I'll see you in another video.